Hello and welcome to this weekly look at the night sky where I go through what you can see and how you can see it. Each week I cover another constellation and tonight we'll have a look at Canis Major, the Great Dog. Last week we used Orion's belt and followed its line upwards to find Taurus, the bull. This week we are following the belt downwards. Doing so, we pass this bright and unmistakable star called Sirius, or sometimes the Dog Star. Sirius is in the color of the great dog, and as the dog is following Orion, its body is pointed towards him. We have the head of the dog here, the front legs going down here, the back here, and belly here and then we find the hind legs here and the tail here. At this point you might be thinking that looks like a wiener dog and I agree and we can both doubt whether a hunter like Orion had wiener dogs and you could be wondering whether that is really the official constellation. But the official constellations are not patterns, but areas in the sky. There are many different versions of the patterns themselves, and none of them are more correct than any other. The real point of the patterns is that you will be able to recognize the constellations based on these patterns, and the easier it is to recognize a pattern, the better. In the end, it's a judgment call what the easiest pattern to recognize is. The main attraction in the great dog is Sirius. Sirius is the brightest star in the great dog, and in general the brightest star in the sky. Not because it is actually the biggest star or the one that sends out the most light, but because it is fairly close at only 8.6 light years. Being the brightest star, it will appear to twinkle more than any other star, especially when near the horizon. Because of this, Sirius is one of the objects in the sky most often reported as a UFO. By the way, stars do not actually twinkle, it's an effect caused by the moving sea of gases in our own atmosphere, distorting the light from the stars like watching something lying on the bottom of a swimming pool. And the more of the atmosphere that the light has to go through, the greater the effect. That's it for tonight. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, click subscribe. I hope to see you next week. And until then, clear skies.